Hey guys, <clears throat> happy Sundays. Hope you're having a good day. I'm just checking all the volumes out because when I looked back at the streams yesterday, I was a bit upset that you couldn't really hear anything. So uh, I'm just double checking everything's all right. So you can just give us a couple of moves. Right, everything sounds good. So I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, welcome to the stream. So basically, just going to continue. Hey, Funham. How you doing, my man? You good? So just going to continue basically theming, really. That's pretty much going to be the course of the streams for the next who knows how many months. Um, done a little bit of off-stream work this morning. So basically, we have um, I finished off the barrier, pretty much going all the way to this corner and up to here so far so again it just feels a lot more cemented now um a lot more detailed just having it over the back there hey awesome ace man how are you welcome to the channel my dude thanks for joining happy sundays guys um just one thing i need to do Right, okay. We are good to go. Right, uh, getting ready to head to work. Oh, sorry to hear that, mate, but I work Sundays as well. I know how that feels. Um, put those little ornamental pieces on the upstands now, so that's all done. Uh, put a couple of upstands just over here as well. Hey, you're more than welcome, awesome. Or oh, Ace Man, whichever's best. <laughs> um, we will put the camera on, I think. You can see my freshly dried hair from the shower. How you doing, guys? I do need a shave, so my apologies. Um, but yeah, I'll just put these little upstands in here. It just kind of covers off this corner and tidies it up a bit. So that all looks neat and tidy now. So that's all done. Um, and I got a little bit bored of that. So I started just doing the broadwalk for here. So basically just putting in some uh, barrier detail in respect of the wood and rope. Because it's kind of what you want to use for fire it. So I'm just going to continue that. A um, little bit of an announcement. I have had a free premium offer come through for Spotify for three months. So I've done that. So hopefully you'll have music all the time now. Um, hopefully. So fingers crossed no more McDonald's adverts or Ricardo adverts. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this guys. I hope you enjoyed the Black Mire uh, little walkabout yesterday. It was quite funny. I, obviously, I said in stream who fancies a look around it. And everyone was like, yeah, 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 we'll do that, we'll do that. Why haven't I got anything here? All right. Um, we'll do that. <laughs> I loaded it up. I think we only had three or four maximum at one time. That's what it is, guys. I know we all have a life. Just found it quite funny. That was all. Hey, Darren. How you doing, man? You ready to go out? Just trying to make this look as realistically spaced as possible. Ah, oh, it was just it's such an amazing build and, and Wix has actually just commented on it, which is really nice. And he's actually watched the whole lot as well, which is really cool. And he complimented me on my frame rate. So my computer can't be that bad. I, mean, I was I was quite surprised um that I was getting fourteen to sixteen frames a second to be honest with you, but anyway. Oh, it's just about rain started. Well it's you can kind of see in the rear it's overcast but it's bright but it's not it's not warm at all kind of why i had to have a shower to be honest i had to defrost the bones <laughs> i'm only joking 
Um, but this is going to look great when it's done. And I know this is uh, not the best kind of thing to watch, but like I was saying yesterday with the other barrier in the spooky area, the more time and accuracy you put into these things, the more unknowing detail that people don't really realize because it looks as good as it does in real life, if you know what I mean. And in a nutshell, that's kind of how I build. So you guys get to see it live. But thanks for joining the stream, guys. If you haven't already, smash that like. Just gets the videos out there a little bit more for people. That's the only thing I'll ever genuinely ask of you. Well, there's not much hair, but I do need a haircut. Try and get that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, I know this looks tedious, but it's, it's the only way to do it right. It weren't too choppy. I was I was quite happy with it to be honest with you. I was a bit worried because streaming and having the park open, four hundred thousand pieces is just insane. Um, but it, it turned out all right. Another little trick as well is just amend the angle slightly of some of the ropes and again it just looks a little bit more pirate, a little bit uneven, a little bit more natural. Should have done them at the end when I was done but it's just to give you a little insight of the extent some of us go to just to do these little things. It just makes a difference for you guys and it is just literally millimetre different. Um, but the reason why I do it is because once this is all done dusted, all these little bits, because they're slightly different, it just, it just adds up to so much more detail. So, they run to their own. Um, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't look copied and pasted, basically. Yeah, that's the way to, way to go with it. New Zealand, wow, you are literally below my feet, my friend. Welcome. It's interesting, I actually get quite a few guys over from that kind of area. Australia, New Zealand, it's quite nice. I'll always go back to, I, I think I made a comment a few weeks ago, isn't it so surreal that you rewind, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago? And you would have never thought of being able to do anything like this. And the fact that it's only like two, three clicks away on a mouse, it's just insane that you can share things with people all over the world. Amazing. long way to go here guys <laughs> and the other side Marnie is watching on the TV. Hey, Marnie. Are you having a lovely Sunday? You're about to go to school tomorrow. 
Enjoy it whilst you can. Hey, Marnie. Thank you for joining. I swear in, Ryan. It's doing that. It's like it's lagging out. Yeah, hopefully volumes are all okay for you guys. Uh, like I was saying, I've gone premium for three months on Spotify, and it's free. Why not? Um, at least now we have the soundtrack going all the time, so it should make it a little bit more of a pleasant experience for you. Instead of listening to my voice drone on and be grumpy. Hey Neil, how you doing man? Happy Sunday, buddy. How's the weather where you are, dude? just add in some more detail basically like I always say start from the ground work your way up so I'm just kind of setting the scene and, and just now with this and the pirate area it just kind of works so yeah I'm not sure if I like every single one being that low that's the only thing same as here then mate <laughs> very overcast quite sunny but yeah so it just breaks up that repetitiveness you know it just adds another I know I keep saying it but level Always away when you're going out, mate. Trust me, if I had plans today, the weather would be terrible. There you go. Just breaks it up that little bit. A bit frustrated by that. Concrete bit, we'll come back to that. Auto save again. I really need to find out how to change the auto save. I can't remember. I've done it before, but for some reason it feels like every 10 minutes. I did change it to every hour, but it seems to have um, got a ray.
Yep. Doesn't rain, it pours. Right. So that's looking fairly decent. So we'll replicate that in a minute. Hmm, just want to make sure I haven't messed the benches up. Good. Very true, very true. So, what? do we have Gosh. what have I used in the past I've used these on a beam okay well I'll have a think about that one So nice being able to listen to the soundtrack without any interruptions.
Hey, MXC. How are you? Thank you for joining the stream. First time chat. Welcome. So having a kind of chilled out building session today, even though most of them are. No main focus, like always, just build, basically. So I hope you enjoy. Happy Sundays. Seamless. Just a barrier to the pirate area, just trying to get that rolling basically. Uh, doesn't seem like much, but it's these little bits that make the big differences at the end. So, the more detail you can put into here, the more it feels a little bit more real. But yeah, who knows what we're going to be doing. No, nothing planned. Um, it is literally just build. That's how I do it. I have plans. I always let myself down. So I, I just don't bother. I think after five years of... Four years of streaming. People have got that from me. <laughs> I probably sometimes don't like it. But it is what it is. So I just share what I do, give you guys a little tips of what I do and what I don't do, like here, just changing the heights of these to make it look a little bit less repetitive, even though it is repetitive, but just having that, instead of having them all come down, it just kind of gives it a different look, different vibe, um, and in a second I'll just go and amend some of the heights of the ropes, just to make it look a little bit more pirate, as in not so polished. Um, the more janky pirate is, the better it looks, you know. That's all good. So, nice three. Doesn't look much, but it just breaks up that repetitiveness, guys. All the ones are moving now. You just you can just see it. These ones just go up a couple of clicks. There we go. Just makes it feel a little bit more uh, detailed without using a huge amount of detail, which is nice.
Hey Hev, how you doing? I hear you're off out for the day. You have a nice one, whatever that be. I'm just chilling. So weird. Right, on with the other side now. Yep, that is another bit. Um, I haven't, I'm not doing that just yet. And the only reason being is I've got to figure out how I want the lighting to be and what kind of lamp I want to use. So I'm going to incorporate the lamp into these posts. So I don't want to move and change the angles just yet. Um, but you're one step ahead of me there, Ace Man. No, oh, I'm not good, Heather. That's a shame. Darren did say it was raining. Not too bad here. Again, it's it's just it's just got that chill in the air. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've barely been out the house <laughs> since last Tuesday. So nearly a week. I haven't left the house. I've been down the shop, but I don't regard that as really going out out. Um, but. Sorts that out. There we go. Fine. I have all this up here. Awesome. It's um, the 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 way I build. It's, it's all done in stages. So basically I'll set, I call it a foundation. So the foundation for this was, was the barrier system. Um, this is just how my mind works. So I look at it and I think, okay, let's get everything in, get everything at the same height, then take a step back, have a look at it, which I did. And I realized the posts, just having them all go into the water just looked extremely repetitive. Um, so I changed those. And then we just raise and lower a few of the uh, ropes uh, just to make it that little bit more organic. Because even if you go to Disney, they're not... that That's the extent they go to. So so why shouldn't I? Um, like having the little metal plate bits here, I wanted them to show just because it adds another little bit of detail, you know? If that was rope straight into there like it is on the broadwalk here. It doesn't look odd. It looks fine. But because you've got no holes going through the wood, it... You know, it looks all right, but I've just done it as a queue line just because of the way I've done it. But here, just wanted that extra bit of detail, so it just adds adds that. 
And then the next step is lighting. Um, obviously, I've done the barrels, bins, and benches just to make sure they're not clipping or anything, which is perfect. Slight clipping, but then that's the path. I can't do anything about that. <coughs> um, and then I go into lanterns, furniture, um, possibly a little boat here coming out here with some uh, rowing boats in. Who knows? Um, that's kind of how I look at the game and how I play it. May sound a bit odd. Don't know. But the advantage to that is, like I say, I, I don't plan anything. So literally, um, the cool thing about that is that you never really put any pressure on yourself. You can just sporadically come back and forth and do different things. Um, but at the same time, sometimes you create some amazing pieces of, um, dare I say it, art, I'm not sure, um, or architectural design. You know, there's one thing I'm extremely happy with in this park, and that is the Horror Heights. I genuinely, I can't wait. To be honest with you, this whole area, I can't wait for this whole area to be done and finished. Not because I'm sick of it, because I can see how good it's going to look once we get a load of trees in the back here, get it all rock works, tunnels done, you know. I think that's the best bit of the park, and I think that will be the best bit of the park, to be honest with you. Um, it's just something about it. Everything about it, I, I just love. And like I said, 90% of it is in-game pieces. It's only the plaster I've used here because it's more malleable in the way you can do like like these little bits. <clears throat> like that bit there. If I'd have used grid pieces for that, I wouldn't have been able to do that because that would be in the lift shaft. If you know what I mean. Well, maybe not there, but if it was here, it would be. Um, and then just add in the little thing make toolkit items like the cracks in the walls just adds that tiny bit of extra detail that brings it to life even more like on the front here and with the ivy um i i just love that no worries phantom have a safe journey my man <clears throat> i'll catch you later hopefully nice one neil I haven't got a clue what I'm doing for food yet. I've got some food in the freezer. I'll just bang something in later. Exactly. Exactly, and, and that's how I was taught to do art and graphic design when I was growing up at school, and those were the two things that I excelled in. Nothing else. That's the reason why I'm here playing a computer game. Um, <laughs> you got to look at it like that, guys. got to look at it like that. Um, but they're the level of detail that I go to. You know, I, I regard this mouse pointer as a paintbrush. That's that's what's in my head and I just look at it and I think okay we'll try this we'll try that we'll try this and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like this building here I did it with the Bavarian finish I think instead of the Tasho um, originally and just no matter how I looked at it it just didn't it didn't it didn't vibe it didn't look right I wasn't happy with it everybody was like it looks great it looks amazing but I just there was just something about it it didn't work um, and literally, I think I left it for about a week. And then I found these pieces. Because I was like, I'm sure there's some sort of oriental build piece. Because I've seen it. Um, and it wasn't until I put these blueprints in that I realised, oh, look, there it is. I clicked on it and told me what it is. And then you just, Bob's your uncle. There you go. And it looks pretty, pretty detailed. I, I kind of love the way that looks. I've got to sort out the ceiling a bit. Um... I just think that looks epic. Just with the blossom trees, my Anagmandra, just the seating area with the parasols, Chinese dragon. I, oh no, I have put stands on underneath. Um, but you just, 
you know, finding this uh, oriental writing for the food crop just just lifts it completely. Um, and like I say, 90% of the time I'm just using all the in-game pieces. But like I say, every single piece you can use who knows how many times because it's it's all how you foresee and place those items and yeah basically it's kind of how I build it works you guys enjoy it and surprise the amount of you that actually really enjoy the process um, I've tried watching other streamers and I, I struggle to watch it but maybe it's because I sit there going I wouldn't have done that I'd do this I'd do that just yeah you know, the way the mind works sometimes and then to be fair what uh what we showcased yesterday with uh wix's park wix has been a huge inspiration for me um but then we we totally have different um ways that we build and that's 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 what I love about this game. Anybody can pick it up and play it. Um, it's just whether or not you're... Uh, and I don't mean this as derogatory, but if you don't have a creative mind, I understand why some of the comments I get and have done over the years. Because people just want to download it and go around it and enjoy it as if it's a theme park. Which I totally get, because that's the whole point to the game. But at the same time... Um, you know, the reason why I stream is because it's taught to people, um, build a community, which we have done, and it's growing, which is nice. And all I ever ask is just be respectful of one another. I, I suffer with sarcasm. Um, I find it very hard to deal with. Um, I get it, but I just, I don't see the point of it, you know. Um, so I struggle with that in life, in life, in general, to be honest. It's probably why I enjoy my job so much being out on my own. I, I don't have to put up with it all. Um, but it just seems like nobody has a sense of... Um, well, there are, there are people out there, but what I mean is the majority of people would rather joke their way through life than actually be... Not serious, but... You know. Um, but that's... What's happened... Are you guys there? Are you guys there? I've got error. YouTube is not responding. Guys there? Hello? Cool. Alright. I'm not sure what's going on with that then. Cool. Okay. No, sorry. I've got... Um, I think I can show you. Display capture. There you go. Top right of the screen. Area you... Oh, no. It's back. There we go. Copped out for a minute. Maybe the internet bill hasn't been paid. Stream has lost some quality. There's, it's still running fine. I did lose 890 frames, so you would have lost something. But um, let me just scroll around a bit for you, make sure you're all okay. Blooming internet. All working, all good. It did drop out for a second. I don't know why. Um... Hopefully this isn't the start of something. Anyway. Can't moan if it is. I just won't be seeing you till uh, around the 10th of May. If it does drop out price, so my apologies. quicker now. Stop rambling. 
But no, like I was saying, um, you know, this game along with like Planet Zoo and games like that, they're incredible for people that have a detailed creative mind. Um, you know, and I, I actually used to take offence to some comments that people used to make before I had really any followings or, or, or whatever. And um, I quickly came to realise that most of them are kids. And they're, you know, I remember being a kid. Would I have sat here and done this for hours? Probably, to be honest with you. Um, but it, that's the type of mind I have. And I, I wish I'd found this, you know, something like this 20 odd years ago. Um, it's amazing what, when life changes, how much things you realise you haven't done for such a long time. And I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in a very positive way. I haven't lost any more, <clears throat> excuse me, I haven't lost any more frames or anything, so hopefully we're good. And before anybody asks, the only result I know of the Formula 1 is that Max won, which was a no-brainer anyway. Um, I haven't watched any of the highlights yet, I'm going to watch that later. See how Hammy go on. Hey, hot dog. <laughs> no, I, I, I know. Oh, sugar. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I mean, it's inevitable anyway, isn't it? I mean, you just I, I don't know who finished second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way down to 20th, so I haven't got a clue what went on. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it later. Um, but it just shows how much interest I have in it now. And it's such a shame because I used to follow it so passionately. But it's a no-brainer, isn't it, unfortunately? Sorry, mate. I do apologise. <laughs> Hello, anyway. How are you? Have you had your cap yet? If you did, is it any good? Sorry, dude. Not like me to put my foot in it. <laughs> Sorry, mate. My apologies. There was um, a thing that popped up on my YouTube last night, actually, as I was falling asleep. Um, the biggest crashes of Talladega. Limey. You know, throughout the years. And, um, yeah, pretty insane. And it kind of made me sit there and think, what, you know, why would you? <laughs> Smoke the sport.
Oh, I've got to start sitting properly in my neck. Ooh, total neck going on. Sitting here, don't it? It's better. Guys, there. Just do an internet test, guys. Sorry. So, two hundred and thirty download. Forty download, upload two fifty. So oh. sorry, guys, just double checking everything. I don't know why it's bumming out. Well, my apologies. Not sure what's going on, guys. So hopefully you're still there and everything is good. It seems as though... better didn't it 358 pieces later plus this bit there's the the one i did over here yesterday uh what was it 334 pieces just for a barrier we're going all out on this one though if wix can do 400,000 pieces and we still have 15 frames but then it only had what one two three coasters we have one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm sure, is it twelve? Start this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven coasters. Okay. Quality really went down. It shouldn't be. I don't know why it's copping out. I mean, I've got 250, 250 meg. I'm probably speak you away from it. Maybe that'll make a difference. Unless the internet's just playing up in general. I don't know. Sorry, guys. seems to be running fine now so I can only apologize if it does pop out every now and then
Oh, don't tell me another person that hasn't watched the Formula One. <laughs> well, what's up, I see. How can I try and cheer you up, my friend? Or shall I just shut up? I feel well bad for hot dog. that two years ago with my mate it's I, you just have to be so careful it's like Marley Marley wouldn't hurt well he, he does go off the flies but what I mean is is Marley he he was a very um, overexcited dog so whenever he went past another dog, he kind of would be attracted to them. But if you controlled him well, he'd be absolutely fine. He'd never attack another dog. And it's about two years ago, I was walking him around this area. I, I haven't been up there in two years where it happened. Uh, but basically a dog, all, all I heard was F, no, 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 quick. And the next thing I saw was this massive pit bull grab my dog by the throat and throw him to the floor and basically Marley luckily got out of it um, I was kicking the crap out of this bull, this pit bull literally first time I've ever attacked an animal in my life and the thing wasn't letting go but luckily Marley man, it basically got him here and um, going back to the words that I heard so these people, they were just coming out their back gate as I literally, you know, got got to where they were. And we were just walking along the path. Marley was on the lead, doing his usual thing. And the next thing he knows, bless him, he's, he's pinned to the floor. Um, and and all, I, all, I'll, all I'll ever remember is those words. No, quick, go quick. And then Marley... It was a horrible, horrible thing to have to deal with, mate. So I totally, totally understand. And, and unfortunately, in the UK, there is... You can do about it. Literally nothing you can do about it. Um, I reported it to the police. The police come round and they said, all, all we can do is go and see this other dog. And if it goes for us, all we can do is send them a letter to say that this dog needs to be muzzled um, and that's it. Now, if that police officer had been in my position and seen exactly what happened, that dog should have been put down there there and then. Should have been taken away from them. They're irresponsible people. They shouldn't be having a dog like that. I, don't get me wrong, I've got nothing against pit bulls. You've got nice pit bulls. But what I'm saying is, if you've got a dog that the second it gets out that gate goes and viciously attacks another dog... Um, you don't deserve to be a dog owner as far as I'm concerned now where I live there are a lot of stabbings it's a horrible place to live and I'm, I'm just hoping that where I'm moving to life will be a little bit better for me um, so whenever I did walk Marley I mean this is how bad it is it's all alleys but I wouldn't let him walk around the corner of an alley unless I was there so I would check first just to see who's there, see if there's anything, you know. Um, and it's just a vile, vile, vile world. And, and and that there says it all. She denies everything. Have some freaking self-respect and apologize. You know, just, just an apology would suffice. Um, but yeah, that, that's something that I... Oh. Anyway, Marley got out and literally ran two miles home. Bless him. And I, I ran after him. I couldn't catch up with him. I was just yelling Marley, Marley, Marley as I was... Because I, I didn't know where he'd gone. He, he got out. Um, basically, he got out of his collar. Bless him. And, and thankfully, he did. Because if he hadn't, the dog 
the dog would have just mauled him, literally. I mean, I was kicking this dog, and I was kicking this dog harder than I've ever kicked a football in my life, and this dog weren't battering an eyelid. It weren't interested in me. It just wanted to kill Marley. That, that, but the police then go round there and tell me, oh, no, the dog's fine. Right. You've seen my dog, blood all over him. Pierced four times from the growlers from the... Oh. Anyway. Um, I then got back and Marley was sat on the corner of the road. Um, luckily, everybody that I passed said he's run that way, he's run that way. So he, he, he knew where home was, thankfully. Um, and then I got back. He's literally blood just... Yeah. So I got in the car, parked the car around the corner from theirs. I knew exactly what house it was. I went and banged on his door and he opened the door and he said to me, he goes, what's your problem, mate? I went, what's my problem? You don't want to know what my problem is. And then his bitch of a mother comes out two doors down, slagging me off for trying to find out why his dog attacked my dog. Go figure. But that's the state of society. And it's, That's why I play Planet Coaster, guys. The words I can't say right now because if I say, I'll, I'll be struck off YouTube if I say the words I really want to say. It's anyway. It took Marley a year and a half to go back to normal. And all we were doing was walking. Nothing else, just literally walking. And the next thing you know, he's pinned to the floor and blood's pissing out. So, mate, I fully, fully, fully sympathise for you. It's a terrible experience and I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And if anybody that watches me and you have a pit bull that's aggressive, seriously, piss off because I ain't interested. I ain't interested. And if I lose 10, 15 subscribers, I couldn't care. I really couldn't care. You're vile people. Vile people. Anybody that has an aggressive dog is a vile person. If you have an aggressive dog, yeah, you walk it at certain times. You go places where there aren't other dogs. You literally treat other people with the respect that your dog was good. Literally. That's how you should be acting, but you don't. You act like a council piece of scum, and I hate it. Sorry. It's... Sorry guys, I had to turn the mic off there, otherwise I would have just kept going. It infuriates me. And do you know do you know what the worst thing about it was is is that if Marley had accidentally bit a dog 
because they were playing and pierced his neck or whatever it be you know if they're just playing and you would be sued beyond belief and that's what gets me is that these people think they can have these animals and i know what this animal was it was a fighting dog it was as cut and dry as that for me um that the, there's there's very little other way to look at it because the way that it instantaneously came out of that gate went straight for marley had no intention of sniffing his butt or saying hello it was wham bam pinned on the floor growling biting at him that is a vicious dog you you do not deserve to have any respect I'm, I'm sorry but if you have a vicious dog you just it was the words that they said quick oh no get it quick and then next thing I know my dog is a changed dog yet yeah, you have to put up with with um, the aftermath of it beyond me absolutely beyond me You may think I'm speaking out of turn. I mean, I care for dogs. I, I like dogs. But if you have a dangerous dog, you have to treat that dog in a very, very different way. And unfortunately, these people think they can just get away literally with, with murder. Sorry, don't mean to go on. Hopefully the stream's still going. No one's responded. So you either agree with me or you hate me now. One of the two. met with that terrible owner if it had come out the door and said i'm so sorry i you know we try and keep it in the garden we do the best we can with it you know i would have gone do you know what sound it is what it is it's just a freak incident and i would have said to him just do yourself a favor and don't let it out the garden again do you know what i mean but it weren't it was the way it was all rah, 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 at me at me that the victim and you're just like, what on this planet is going on nowadays? But like I say, that's that's the, the state of the English society, unfortunately. You have people with money um, that don't give a shit about anything. And then you have us in the middle, where we're respectable people that struggle in life because of finances, whatever you want to look at it as. Um... And then you have these people that think they can get away with whatever they bloody like. And then to top it off, I just found out the other month, um, there was a Jack Russell walking in the same area. is now dead because of a brown pit bull in the same area. Bet the police went round and gave him another letter and a pat on the hand. Well done for getting rid of the Jack Russell. But again, there's there's nothing that can be done about it apparently. Nothing. Beyond me, guys. Beyond me. 
sorry for going off on one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What, what, what frustrates me is Marley was a rescue. Now, Marley had been very well trained, so Marley was a very good dog right from the outset. But not at any point did I think I can let him off the lead, I can trust him, or anything like that to start with. Because you need to get to know a dog, you need to create a bond with the dog. And these people, they seem, I, I mean, it's like I said a few minutes ago, it, it was a fighting dog and that was as simple as that. Um, the difference is they know how to disguise it. That's the reason why the police did nothing about it. Um, but what infuriates me is these particular dogs that are uh, known for this type of thing I'm just trying to delicately put this in a way where I'm not offending people you should have to have a license you should have to have a license and prove that you are an owner of a vicious potential vicious dog now don't get me wrong any dog can be vicious Marley was a grumpy kid when he didn't get his way but you learn to understand how to get around that when he growls and snarls at you because he won't move off the sofa you just change your tone of voice and get you know and say get off the sofa and then get off but i don't regard that as a vicious dog i just regard that as a dog just being an absolute ass um but that's what that's what gets me is that people it, it astounds me with what we have in this particular country in respect of like gun laws you can't have a gun unless you've got a license all that kind of thing where it's very different in america and stuff like that but you know, you're right jp you're, you're absolutely right but the worst thing about it is until that dog mauls a child the police won't do anything about it it's so attacked my dog it's potentially killed a jack russell but there's nothing they'll do about it they, they, they won't they won't touch it they're not interested you just sit there and go, okay, well, when it when it kills a kid, when the kid, all, all the kid's doing is playing in the park, and this dog is all over it, mauling it to death, that'll be when you do something about it. And basically, that is what the copper nodded at when, when he was sat in my garden with Marley licking his feet. <laughs> you know? Um... I mean, I even felt like uh, the person being tested because he even come round to me first to see what type of dog Marley was like. And Marley was the one that wasn't attacked. That uh, was attacked. But it just shows the mentality of the law over here. Don't get me wrong, they come to see me to find out what went on, etc. But his main purpose of coming round here was to see what type of temperament Marley was before he went to go and investigate. Now, why would have I reported it if my dog was the issue? <laughs> you know, that's the bit that gets me. That's the bit that gets me. You're, 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 you are regarded as the person that actually has done the wrong even though you've done nothing wrong and that's that's the mentality and it just it's beyond me absolutely beyond me anyway I gotta stop going off on one in streams you guys love it But no, I sympathise for you, I see it's uh, a terrible thing to happen. It really, really is. What on earth? What I say, guys, sorry. Yeah. 
yeah, not not nice at all, mate. So you have my full sympathies with that one. Worst thing is, you just want to grab these people and slap them. <laughs> But then you'd be sent to jail for doing that, even though their dog nearly killed your dog. But anyway. <sighs> right. Happy Sunday, guys. The only thing I can say, I see, is it may be difficult to, but try not to walk your dog around that area anymore. Um... And that was the worst thing is the area we used to go and walk uh, had a lovely kind of uh, woodland brush area where I could actually let Marley off the lead and it was such a shame because I was getting to the point with Marley where I, I could trust him in that manner um, and subsequently the last couple of years he hasn't been off the lead one because I'm conscious of other dogs attacking him and Two, like I say, he, he's he's been a, he's kind of got back to normal recently, or the last few times I walked him, but he um, he wasn't the same dog, and that's the most upsetting thing. The injury part they they heal, but the psychological effect on him as a dog was insane. It was insane. Bless him. But like I say, there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know what it's like over where you are, mate, but I'd follow her own, get her house number, and she can't stop you doing that, and report it to whoever it needs to be you need to report it to, mate. That's what I'd personally be doing. Because the more and more they do this and just laugh at you and go, well, well you know, it didn't happen, the more and more they'll get away with it. And the more and more that dog will attack another dog. And next time, the dog being attacked could be the dog that loses its life. Yet no one seems to care about that. But my argument is, is, and like I said to this guy, I said to him when he gave me all the big and then his mum was shouting in my face, I said, what if I was a child? I said, would you be talking to me in the same way if it was my child that your dog had just attacked, I wouldn't attack a child. Well, how do you know? Oh, we know. Right. Okay. But it attacked my dog today. Did you know it was going to do that? Oh, no, we didn't. It's not like that. It's not like that. Right. Well, now you fucking know. Anyway. Sorry, guys. Very entertaining stream.
Cheers, Aceman. You must be getting tired, fella. You see now how that just pops. So that now is pretty much all done apart from just raising the old one a little bit just to give it that little bit more hickety feel. Um, well, I just need a pit stop, guys. So what we'll do... the one I don't want them to go to. Rage 2. Well, let's give you a little walk through the area that's done. So I'll be back in just a few moments guys. Uh, down to two viewers. So obviously my little rant for everybody off. My apologies guys. Um, catch you in a few moments.
Persistence is key, Ace Man. <clears throat> Literally. Um, you just have to do whatever you can, basically. Make the best of best of it, basically. That's kind of what I mean. Hey Mikey, I'm all good mate. Unfortunately Icy's dog got attacked and uh, I went off on one because Marley got attacked a couple of years ago so uh, I'll go back onto camera now. My apologies, it frustrates life out of me, stuff like that. But what can be done about it? <clears throat> Not much. So we have started the stream doing this little promenade here. So that's now all barriered up and lit and benched and binned. So that's all sorted. Um, just working on this basically.
Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Anyway, happy Sunday. Just been streaming, mate. Doing the old Blanco stuff as always. something out for that later, probably just a rock or something. is me. Thank you. Uh, what time is it in the UK? It is two o'clock in the afternoon, sir.
<coughs> Excuse me. the weather in uh, oh, Chicago. It's not four meter path, it's three meter path. Oh crikey, that is cold. It's very cold. Excuse me, guys. Sorry.
I was going to say, it should be warming up by now. But then, to be fair, it's kind of similar here. We've had a couple of freak days of where it's been nice weather. Uh, 17, 18 degrees, which I think is about 60, 60-ish Fahrenheit, I think. Um, um, but apart from that, that, that's kind of been it, if you know what I mean. Um, weather's very unstable at the minute. We kind of tend to get two weeks after what the states get. Like whenever it's going to snow across mid-US, I guess. Or I kind of always gauge it off um, New York. Normally whatever happens in New York about a week, week and a half later, we'll get it. Um, but on a slightly downscaled point of view. So obviously it has to come across the Atlantic, etc. Blah, 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 blah. And this is starting to be something. I don't know what we're going to do in the middle here. I'm going to get rid of the barrier. That's a, a definite. Normally I'd keep it, um, but because it's been sunk into the wall, not sunk into the wall, it kind of just doesn't make sense to kind of have it. it looks more glitchy than it does adding anything, if you know what I mean. So let's try and select that piece. Good. Good. Can't do that one because it's got a ramp. Let's try this one. Don't think it'll allow me to do it. No. Keep it where it's needed. So it's a lot less hickledy pickledy then, if you know what I mean. Kind of suits the area better not having it. <coughs> Would have been good if it had been stuck out a bit like uh, I did over here. Because it actually works as a handrail. But unfortunately, size wise, and the fact that we got the path going next to each other, it kind of eradicates it in a way. What do I do with this bit? No worries, I see. I've only just come back, to be fair, mate. I, that upset me, reminded me of um, Marley. I'm glad the cat's okay, mate. Good. Good on you, buddy. The more people that stand up against these people, the better. But enough said. I'm not going to keep going on about it. It wound me up. 
Don't take any offence though, I see. It's just the... What, what I can't stand in life is people doing wrong and then having a smug face in front of you. Acting as if they did right. I, I struggle with that. I really struggle with that. Um, whether there's a condition for it or whatever, I don't know. Not that I'm looking for one, but I, I struggle. Really struggle with that. Really. As you can tell. So I didn't mean to be grumpy or have another grumpy session. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's... I, 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 I hate it, I hate... It just goes back to the whole thing at work yesterday of people just not looking at the reality of the situation and taking a step back and going, do you know what, actually, yeah, he's right, or they're right, or whatever. And I don't aim to be one of those people either that's always right, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm not that type of person, but when you look at things the way I look at things, and I am an overthinker, um, it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at least I'm not the only one. It's a good thing. It's actually looking pretty, pretty decent. Got the levels, got the people walking through everything. Just like we have on the other rides. It's looking good. Looking good. Hmm. Where do I go from here? I should rename the channel, shouldn't I? To uh, Old Fogey Moans. <laughs> Why not? Rai Rai's at it again. Why not go any single pieces? Thank you.
Ah, get on you, mate. Get on you. And I don't mean that with any malice. I, I literally mean very good on you. Because there's genuinely not enough people in the world like us that actually want to stand for values that actually mean something. No offence to anybody. Just past experiences, guys. What do you think? That don't look too bad, does it? I think that's alright. I wanted to keep that open with the water. I think that works quite well. The, the, the way I look at things is if you do something wrong, man up and stand up to it. But I don't mean stand up to it in, in a way of, you know, walking away from the situation. I just mean take ownership of what has happened and just, you know, be nice about it. I've spent a very, very long time being bitter towards things and situations over the last few years. And, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm... By far, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a, you know, would you say I'm a very different person off stream? Quite probably, I'm a warrior. Like I say, I'm an overthinker, which doesn't help. Um, it's just the way I am. Um, but when I'm passionate about something, like something like that, I just find it completely disrespectful to any other dog owner, basically. It's just wrong. Because you do everything in your power to have a pooch that is a good dog. No matter how you kind of look at it, that's that's kind of the aim, you know. Yes, we all want them to sit, we all want them to listen, we all want them to to be a good dog in that regard. But what I mean by it is, it's just taking them out in the street. You know, I I knew with Marley very early on that I, I would never have a problem with him. And even so, when I did meet other dog owners um, that had young dogs, and Marley, you know, he's... <laughs> problem is with Marley, when he meets a dog or a human being, for some reason, he has <laughs> this urge to grab onto a leg or a head of a dog and basically just hump him for about 10 seconds. Once he's done that, he is awesome. He'll be your best mate. It's just an insecurity thing, I've been told. <laughs> anyway, he... And that's the only thing that I got a bit embarrassed, stroke, um, concerned about at the beginning. Um... But apparently now that he's no longer living here and he's living in a household that has a few people there that comes and go all the time, he, he apparently is not doing it. So to me, it was just a... I don't think it was a dominance thing. It's not a dominance thing. I think it was just it was just him going, Oh, it's me. Ha, ha. Thank you very much. Um, I'll be your best mate now. <laughs> That's That was the only concern I had with, with Marley. Um... But like I say, once once you initially get past that initial stage with him, he'd come and lie on ya, he'd be your best mate, you know. Um, and I knew full well that if I let him off the lead, he wouldn't go and attack another dog. Um, he'd just try and hump him. So that's why I never let him off the lead, because people, people don't appreciate that either. So it was very much... Um, 
when I let him off the lead, it was kind of when no one's about, basically, just to kind of avoid any situation like that. Yet these people seem to think they can do as they blooming well please. It's disgusting behaviour. It's going to be too big. Right, this is the problem with sandstone now. Um... The only other way to do that would be to... What's the back of this like? See-through. Typical. Uh, but that, that was the only concern I had with Marley, really. But like I say, when he met other dogs, he had literally 10 seconds. Um, I remember this dog called Molly. Black lab, uh, uh, brown Labrador when I first got him. Not when I first got him, about, about a year after. And I saw this guy over the park every morning and uh, I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go and say hello. And I went and said hello and he goes, go on, let him off the leash. He goes, she'll give as good as she gets. I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. And I let him off and he went to try and hump her and she wouldn't let him. <laughs> Gave me a little nip on the face. And I kind of stood there watching it. I was thinking, Joe, well, I feel quite comfortable about this. It's fine. No problem at all. Um, and the old boy said, you know, how old is he? Where'd you get him from? All that kind of thing. So we caught up, had a chat. Um, and basically, within literally two, three minutes, they were lying there on the grass, watching the world go by, enjoying each other's company. And I knew from that point that Marley was a, was a good dog. Um, it's just the embarrassment of him trying to hump everybody, you know? But more a personal thing than his problem. His problem was, let's just, let's just do what I want. <laughs> I'm Marley. Hello. <laughs> Every man, eh? But no, he's, he's a good boy. But like I say, he's a good boy when he wants to be. And I only mean that because he's Pomeranian Husky. So he has the brain of a small dog and the attitude of a Husky. Not a great combo, but... He's lovely, really. Looks a bit dodgy, but that will do for now. Unless I come up with something else. Get in there, guys. Get in there. wondering why I rotated that. <clears throat> the only reason being is the wood slats on top, slightly different angle. Again, it just adds that tiny bit of extra thought process behind it. Um, and it's the same with the small ones. Just rotate them a bit. And it just subconsciously, people don't notice it, but they notice it when they're all the same.
Yeah, he's a bit too affectionate, bless him. It's the polite way of putting it. I just call him a um, penis head. <laughs> we used to. When I was working um, just over a year ago at BSH, picking parts, had a few of the boys over when I um, got the sim rig. And it was the worst experience possible because Marley, what, what he does, he doesn't just run up to them and grab onto the leg. He, he will literally <laughs> sit there and cower. He'll have like this look on his face, like kind of thing. And you, you just know, you know what's coming. And he was a terror. He, but like I say, once he does it, <laughs> I don't think it was a dominance, this is my territory thing. Because if it was, he would continue to do it. I think it was just a unsettled kind of thing going on with him. I don't know. I try and make myself believe that. But, you know, he, he was all right. He was a good boy. Excuse me. Blimey, me, two hours and twenty minutes. Hopefully, the Steam stream is still stable, guys. Hopefully, it's all good. Lost a few frames at some point, but we're good. I'm going to say thanks for all the likes on the video. Seriously, appreciate it. Um, no, not many have been watching. Obviously, got a busier day than I have. Theme park worldwide, getting on an aeroplane again. Uh, where are we? But we've had 1500 views in the last 48 hours, guys. I, I cannot thank you enough. Um, genuinely. It just shows that when you do put the effort in and start doing a load of videos, you get a small return. But 13 likes already, guys. It's genuinely appreciated. Thank you. Um, but you can see now the composition that's kicking in here. Now that we've got these ropes in front of here, it's, it's starting to feel quite pirate, you know? Um, and the cool thing is, is that this building was, you can see the footprint here, it was here. So now we walk in and we're going to have this kind of castle-esque pirate area into a more traditional pirate kind of vibe. So we've got the red coats and the pirates against each other. Pirates win, obviously. Um, but yeah. But it's starting to be something. I'm surprised I've got that area done. Um, but yeah, Ace, I, I, I hope that gives you an idea of what I do, buddy. I really do. Um, because at the end of the day, people watch just, just to gain inspiration from the streams. And um, I can only thank you all enough for that. is this one doesn't have the tiled edge so I think I'll just leave the tiled edge on this side here we'll see how we can incorporate it on the other side but this one just it doesn't really match up if you know what I mean I'm pretty sure there's and that goes on top Goes around the outer edge. Okay. That may have changed my thought process a little bit. So. That. To there. I 
does that look any good or not? Kind of works, I guess. It's probably sunk. No, it doesn't. Where is it? Is it under the water? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I learned that <clears throat> about two years into playing Planet Coaster. Um, because if you try and build that on grid, you have no hope whatsoever. Um, where when you just literally all you do is click it and then well, grab one like that. And then grab the piece you want to use and then just press split from building. And then you can do what the hell you like with that bit. Um, I learned that yeah, about, about two years into playing Planet Coaster. Um, because I was always, if you have a look at my first park, first parks, Pyrolandia and uh, Funderland Amusement Park, you'll see the buildings are all pretty much square or they're built on the grid. They're, none of them are really separated. And it was only when I was watching Wix, believe it or not, I think it was Wix, um, that I saw him go, what's, what's that button? And I'd never clicked the button, I didn't know what it did. Um, and then basically the world literally becomes your oyster. Um, and you get to be able to do that with the material items within the game instead of having to use the Mecha Toolkit. Yeah, it's a little rough around the edges, here, here, here. But what I can do with the entrance then is subject to what I do for an awning. I can then disguise that like I did with this one earlier today. So this one today now it was just this arch with gargoyles, but now you've got the fencing in there. I need to buck the fencing up a little bit better. Um, but I put these two upstands, which we designed. Actually, need to move that one forwards a tad. Um, so that covers off these dodgy corner pieces, but also I just put some upstands in here to cover up the. Uh, cylindrical entrance pieces along with a couple of crypt items. Port this forward a bit so that the fence goes into it. Um, actually we'll just tidy that up as we're here. that now looks a lot better so once we get a sign on there and however we're going to do it plus it just adds that another level into that viewpoint um, but yeah splitting the building pieces can create stuff like this thin buildings and so forth you know you don't have to have the big four by four blocks so yeah it, it really does help out quite a bit uh, plus, you can get to do stuff like this. So these are all <laughs> individual arches. Um, but obviously you can't do a curved shape on the grid. So if you separate them, duplicate, 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 you're, you know, you're halfway there. Same with this one here. Not that there's any grid pieces. Yes, there is the roof. Ooh, excuse me. The roof. So same thing there. Um, they're duplicated from the point of view of distance so that I could just put them all the way around. Um, I wish I'd stream that because that, that I, I really enjoyed building that. Um, one of those days. But yeah, no, the cool thing is here. Now, look all the levels. And all I've done is put bits of wall in. And it's filled that area, but it's still got so much life. Coaster going around in the background. Obviously, this will be built up a bit, the train station. So you'll see that come around the side, probably. May, may see it come over the top. Depends how high I go with it. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with the train station yet. I, I think in this instance it will be pirate. Uh, and the reason being, I can't really have an oriental building up here, if you know what I mean. So I think there'll be some form of pirate esque building. And then the other one, this one, will be some form of wilderness, lodge, wood, alpine look uh, to coincide with this area. 
So yeah. Guys, I'm just going to a quick pit stop. Don't mean to shoot off. We're up to 12 viewers now. Thank you guys for watching. Say hello if you haven't already. Hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. Um, what should we go on? Two, what? Vector one. I'll leave with this guy. Don't shoot me for this coaster. Again, this is a work in progress. We're doing exactly what we're doing on the pirate section on this one. Just in the grey finished plaster. So, um, get yourself some grey finished plaster if you're on PC, Aceman. Uh, reason being is the texture of it is just perfect. It doesn't flicker too much. I've done a couple of bits of flickering. Uh, I've got to remember that. But this is just the baseline. So the advantage to this stuff is there is no grid. So you can literally, like I can with the barriers. You see how the barriers are still in there for me. So we've got that railing. Um, just gives that a little bit of extra detail. Um, but I'm going to sharp now. I just need, need the loop. So pit stop time, guys. Back in a moment. Hey Phantom, just having a quick refill of the drink, pit stop, you know it, back in a minute mate. I hope you had a safe drive to work and it wasn't too uh, crazy.
Good mate, I'm happy it was a, a nice journey to work. Oh, it's so cold. I might have flicked the heating on. Let's just enjoy, enjoy a little walk, guys, see where we go. Right, I'm back. Totally forgot I had some chocolate digestives in the cupboard. Yammed a couple of them. But we're getting there, guys. The sights are definitely starting to come through. Um, I don't believe how well it's running either. I got rid of a load of Theme Maker Toolkit today, which helped. So much better. So happy with that. Right. Let's get this into the station and then we'll start trimming it up. Go put the heating on. Two cents, guys. open or anything absolute reason in this house I'll get there one minute guys one minute look I know who your father is it's not who you think it is right Turn the volume down, Ted. Okay. So, what am I going to do with this bit? Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll be doing that. How's that allowed me to do that? Let's do it. 
Hopefully you're enjoying the soundtrack, guys. I'm actually going to put... Because now I can select the songs that I want to select. Why won't... Why won't that work? Content not available. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. I haven't got anything else that's... Uh, copyrighted okay right uh, grab this one that and we want this one that'll do donkey that'll do and then I'm gonna have to put it like that The other cool thing is as well about this, um, when you do separate it from the grid, it doesn't go off the axis either. So you can just literally slide it back and forth as if you were on a grid, which is pretty cool. That literally is millimeters. Can I, can I, can I, I can. I think I can, I think I can, I can. Done. It's not as overhanging as I thought it would be. Okay. Turning my volume down on my uh, headphones. Every time I move, goes crazy. Right, okay, grab that. Just raise that up just a tad. Perfect. Okay, so if we Doing, why are you not sitting there? 
Thank you.
before I do anything else, I've just got to sort out this bit of new line here. Um, You love the paving, don't we guys? It's going to be, I'm afraid.
No worries, man. Have a good sleep. Thanks for joining. It is appreciated, mate. Sorry I went on a rant. As always. I'll stop doing that, guys. But, uh, no, thanks for joining, nice man. Thanks, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Very much appreciated, my friend. So glad you enjoy it. I hope you picked up a few tricks.
Oh guys, I'm just trying to find an item.
save guys.
some intricate building work there, guys. <clears throat> Coaster goes under nicely. One duck in the heads. So good. Alright, whilst you have a quick ride of this, I'm just going to pit stop. Uh, be right back in just a moment, guys. Cold is just sending it straight through me. So whatever I'm going to. See you in just a few moments, guys. I'm actually just going to make myself a cup of tea, guys, so I'll just be a few more minutes than I think. Apologies.
Right then, guys, I'm back. We'll have a little ride on this, I think. Let's have a little chill for a minute. A nice cup of tea. Um, just had a nice little message from Neil. Apparently, I was walking around the park. His park. Let's have a quick look. Just to show you. Go, that's me walking around his zoo. <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, that's quite funny. <sighs> totally forgot that was my outfit. Don't know why I went with a pink shirt. Must have been wearing a pink shirt at the time. <laughs> I do slurp my tea. It's the only way to drink it. Oh, we're not going to be on the front row. Back row on the boat. Mm, interesting. I'm probably walking around this park, moaning and groaning about the state of it. I always like it actually when you find someone that you know. It's quite cool. Sad as it may sound. God, it's so cold. Yeah, big work in progress this guy's still nowhere near even really started it to be honest with you. Train coming over the top of us. I'd say the only downside to this park in reference to the train is how high the train is, if you know what I mean. Um, but you do get some good views on it. You obviously won't see much of this above once this area is done, because kind of going into like the temple-esque kind of vibe here. And then we go up into the volcano, have a little bit of volcano. Um, and then throughout this adventure area, it's going to be a mixture of finished, like nicely done, but also um, torn down bits from the volcano and stuff. So a long way to go, guys. Very, very, very long way to go. I reckon we've probably got about another nine, 12 months still on this park. So you'll get to see it every other day moving forwards. viewers will see the supports going into the Giga there, just a little bit, into the lift hill. But this is going to be so cool around here, the interactions that you get, I love this bit here. And just see how the rest of the coaster is going to be, you know. That was a bit close on the old head that bit. But thanks for all the likes, guys. It is appreciated. 15 so far. I have 166 views. 10% average. It's not too bad. Or 9% if you want to be pedantic about it. But 
We're getting there. Kind of loving how this is kind of all coming together now. Um, just thinking of what to top the railing off with. It's going to have to be wood, isn't it? Question is, do I go for... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So if I go for this, oh, still two meters. It's See, this is just a bit too thick, if you know what I mean. Where that, it's a shame that doesn't have the finish of that. issue with this particular bit is it's not wide enough so when I go to put it on the side there it doesn't cover it with this I think and that doesn't either or is it the position I've got it so the problem is with this bit of wood it's just too clean cut you know Plus you don't have a huge amount of leeway with the sides. And to be fair, I don't think this is all that much different. No, it's pretty much the same. Why can't they do one meter pieces? <laughs> Game. Right, we'll come back to that. I have to try and figure that out. So I could use beams, but the problem is with beams that haven't got any thick enough. If, um, is that one meter? It is a one meter. I don't think it's wide enough. Or, no, see? Yeah. I make a game where the toppers right okay I have to come back to that come back to that let's get the building in get the floor in and get it done so basically
What have I done here? That's all wrong. Hey Chris, 
Baronic. How are you, my friend? That's why I have the channel, my friend. Just to inspire. Give all the... Don't take this wrong way. A better understanding of how the game works, I guess. Chris, so you're feeling all right today? Take as many ideas as you like, mate. Excuse me. Glad to hear you're doing well, Chris. And it's a pleasure as always. already.
Realize them every camera on. There you go, guys. See the bearded wonder. Mr. Grumpy Bum. Thank you. So why has that got a round top on it?
Vai, 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 vai.
Sorry, guys. Just might the microphone now. Oh, I safe guys, sorry. Uh, this is the pirate <clears throat> dueling coasters. Um, it's the RMC with a unchained car car on there, basically. Um, but this is where we got to today. So basically, I've let's just click that one down. Cancel that a second. Um, so basically today, off stream this morning, just had a little tinker with the uh, spooky area. I've done the barrier pretty much all the way around now, so that's all in. Added a couple of bits, elements here to the entrance area, which, I mean, just look at that now. It just looks awesome. Um, and yeah, the reason why I stopped doing this was just purely because I got to a couple of bits where it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, put a couple of upstands in here as well, just to tidy off the corner really for this bit. So I thought I'd duplicate that across. I need to put something there to stop them doing that. Um, 
so yeah that that's starting now to really pop um i'm going to use the guard barrier normal one for these bits uh and rides where it's just a little bit too not detailed i don't want to go too far with the piece count on queue lines you know <clears throat> and i know obviously i'm kind of chatting out my backside at the moment considering what i'm doing right now but these are all big pieces so that you know what i've actually put here is probably less than 100 pieces to, to do all that queue line so then it's just detailing it a little bit further um but we've i've now moved the queue line as i said in yesterday's stream um so now instead of having all this in the middle here and blocking this view as you walk underneath the sign now kind of bermed off a bit which is cool and then you just get this big reveal so um yeah it's getting there but today we've done all the barrier work around here with the lighting um you know it's the theme park it's not real life but it, it does the job all the way up to the adventure area now so we are starting to really make some headway into things you know I, I, I really enjoyed this little bit here just this archway it just I know it's just a gate with two gates and a bit of rock work well a bit of brick it just kind of defines the area a little bit I was going to have it as this um, but you're kind of in the area by the time you're walking around but I, I just love the way this <coughs> excuse me sorry my voice is still a little bit I just love the way this barrier has made that feel now it just feels a lot more cohesive uh, especially when you have a look through to the shop area and stuff it just just seems to work um added a couple of bit of extra rubbly bits in just here i'm yet to double check to see if the coaster glitches with that i don't think it does oh it was close but no it doesn't so that's all good um and that was it really i haven't touched anything over here so this is still all the same we still at the very basics of starting that out i uh, haven't done anything with the steampunk um and haven't done anything with the alpine area or this yet um i just thought we'd start getting some pirates in basically so we got red coats versus pirates as the coasters um so basically pure pirate and then pirate slash castle and then with the drain station i think what i'm gonna do if you think back to Thunderland Magic Kingdom, the dart ride, where you go through the town village and you've got loads of different buildings, I think that's kind of what I'm going to try and achieve here. Because then these guys, as they walk off, get to look up at it. And as you come around the coaster, you're kind of, it's, it's berming the coaster off. Um, and then this will be just a big version of kind of what we had in Pirate's Cove, I guess. Um, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Um, I think that looks quite neat so far. Does the job. Um, but it's just it, moving this queue line instead of having a big castle building in the middle has just totally opened up that area now. It makes a lot more sense to me. Where previously I was struggling to understand where I was going with it. Um, but it works. I mean, the last, right, crikey, four and a half hours. In one picture, this and this is all we've done in four and a half hours. Jeez. A few pit stops along the way, but anyway. Um, but we are getting there now. Just trying to figure out. I, th I think this is kind of the look I want to go for. I want to go for a multi-slatted piece of um, thingy. Just want to duplicate it so that I can create a grid building to work off. So yeah, there's a little update for you, Chris. More than welcome. That's the advantage to this piece is you have the kind of edged runners there anyway, so that kind of works quite well, I think. What I mean is I don't have to put any beams in to finish it off. So again, just saving a little bit on the piece count. Uh, where are the wheels for this thing? Are they on the inside? Yes. Perfect. Put 
Killing two birds with one stone here. Absolutely perfect. If that expression is uh, allowed nowadays. So it's not quite long enough. Okay. So you can see most of it this way, so we'll shorten the other end. Good, looking good. Right, we'll figure out what we're going to do with this now, cover all this up.
on your side because of that piece. <clears throat> That look like guys anyway. I know it's just the normal hoarding I do for the barriers, but it's the best it's ever gonna be.
Hey, Darren. Sorry, mate. <clears throat> Sorry, missed your, yeah, missed your um, comment there. My apologies, mate. How was the afternoon in the rain, my friend? Is the afternoon? Mind you, it's five o'clock now. Crikey! What have I been going for? Five hours. What a sheltered life I live. Oh, mate. Sorry to hear that, buddy.
I was going to try and create a little pyramid out of it, but it, it looks a little bit too uniformed, to be fair. These two cannons.
Thanks to the new subscribers. Much appreciated, guys. Welcome to the channel.
Thank you, how you doing, bud? Video 1590 Ti, blimey. I, I, I tell you what, you don't, you don't need it. I mean, a 4080 does the job perfectly. It's just my only issue. I'm sorry, I've got a scab on my nose. Um, my only issue is my CPU. It's not really an issue. Um, Wix congratulated me on the uh, frame rate we had, which I'm quite confused by, but anyway. On Blackmire last night, so... I say really no good luck dude um, I just think it's all completely overpriced at the minute as of all new technology but eventually I'll get there Oh, why has that done that? I wouldn't say that it's the hardware that's the issue. That It's the same with all sim games. Um, even City Skylines. Uh, and City Skylines 2. The problem is, when you compare it to a normal computer game, like sim racing for instance, you'll have 30 cars on the track that the CPU needs to calculate where they go, what they do, where they are. In reference to the background, it's all fixed items. So the problem is with sim games, every single item you see is being calculated. The terrain, everything. Because even the terrain is not fixed. Maybe it's fixed once you move it, I don't know. Um, but it renders everything frame by frame. And that's the problem. That's the problem with sim games. And yeah, okay, it's taken to now to be able to have CPUs that would be able to cope with it. Um, but all I mean by it is, is that the engines that they've been created on aren't specifically for sim building. If there was an engine that was specifically designed for sim building, you'd probably find you could probably work it on a 20, 2010 computer. They don't go to that extent, they just do what they can get a deal on and go from there. As to the reason why City Skylines 2 is the reason why City Skylines 2 is, because it's a simulation game. And unfortunately, they still haven't clocked it, but every single piece you place is a calculation that is a calculation that is fixed on the CPU, and you add, 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 and just like this. When you get to 150,000 pieces, it runs like a dog. Because they don't think about it. It's crazy. Where were we? So no, but good luck, dude. <coughs> um, like I said, for me, I got other priorities at the moment, so it will be uh, be left for quite some time. To be fair, I want to be paying off everything that I've already got, so that's where I am at the minute. So I'm going to focus on that, get all that gone, and then uh, who knows what the future holds. Don't want to do for a roof. Sort of breathing into the mic now.
I mean, that's like, j just to put that out there for you, I hope you know how much a 5090 is going to cost. It's going to cost a minimum of two, two and a half thousand pounds, so about three thousand dollars. Which is just to play Planet Coaster. I thought what I'd spent was enough. But I think Channel 5 Gaming proved that obviously if you want it to run right, you've got to spend about $7,000. Not for me. Not for one game. If Planet Coaster 2 comes along, or we get word of it by the end of the year, next year I, I may do it. Again, it all depends on, on finances though, to be fair. So... It's not even on the cards at the moment. Stand, 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 stump, stump. I, I don't disagree with any of that, mate. Um, everyone to their own. I just, I, I, I mean, for me to do the AM5 upgrade is about thirteen hundred pounds, so about sixteen hundred dollars. And I've already spent. I, I don't want to think about how much money I've already spent on this thing, just trying to get it to where it is today and to be honest with you after what Wix Wix made a lovely comment saying it was lovely to see his park in some good frame rate so I'm sat there and I'm thinking well actually you know obviously the setup isn't that bad I mean don't get me wrong I'd, I'd love to be able to build to four five hundred thousand pieces and still have it at 25 frames a second but unfortunately it's that amount of money just for that I mean racing my racing is in 4K, um, and I get on average 100 to 150 frames a second. Um, 
and that will only be improved if I upgrade the CPU to an AM4 type of range. Uh, when I play zombies and other platform games, um, I'm getting 200-250 frames a second. So it's, as far as I'm concerned, I've already made my investment to Planet Coaster, and, I, and you know, only if this YouTube channel takes off and I'm earning hundreds of pounds a month, which I, I don't ever see happening, um, will I will I do an upgrade like that for me? No worries, Chris. Catch you in a bit. Um, I I just can't warrant that type of cost for one game. I mean, the money I've put into this computer, let me put it this way, what I've been paid from YouTube, Patreon, uh, and any other form of income you guys have, have helped me out with, um, doesn't even touch what I've actually spent on the thing to be able to give you this, this is the way it is. Um, so for me, I'm, I'm at the end of my road with it. I, I'm not... Only if Planko 2 comes along am I going to potentially do an upgrade. Only because you know how the game runs, you know what happens with it. But, um, yeah, but they won't. They won't. They didn't with Planet Zoo. They used the same engine and it's the same crap box on a PC. It just doesn't play properly. Um, but people sit there and say, oh, but it's better graphics. It's this, it's that. Cool. Well, I can build all this and have... 20 frames a second at the moment um, with three and a half thousand guests. If I put this amount of piece count into Planet Zoo and say have 30 different types of animal with five each animals, I'm down to about 12 frames a second. So there was nothing improved. Still same crappy engine. Um, so you know, it's, it's not just about the PC, it's more about how they design the game and make the game and make it work, like, like I said. And we all know this, because when you open a park with 20,000 pieces and two coasters, you're getting 60 to 75 frames a second. The second you go beyond that, you're down to 20, 30 frames, if that. You know, at points in this park, I'm getting about 12 frames a second, and I'm, I'm nowhere near done. The reason why I'm done on the amount of coasters is if I put any more coasters in, the game's just going to bug out. So I can't... It doesn't matter whether I've got a £7,000 PC. And all I mean by that is the game has its limitations. And Johnny and everybody confirmed that with Project Planko. Think about Project Planko for a minute. It doesn't matter whether you've got 5090. It doesn't matter whether you've got... The, the top of the range CPU it really doesn't the game has its limitations because of the engine it's as simple as that if, if they use I can't remember what it's called now what's it called Par not paradox uh, uh, Cobra engine if they use that again I it, it's t it, it will it will just blow my mind if they use that again but anyway um, I, I just I'm not trying, trying to be negative it's just I've my graphics card, 1200 quid. The CPU, 300 quid at the time. The motherboard, 200 quid. Bloody, bloody, blah. All in all, I've spent over two and a half thousand pounds on this PC to get it to where it is today with the screens and everything. And I refuse to spend another 1500 quid just for one game. I, I, I refuse to do it. I, I just can't justify it. Like I said, if YouTube was paying me 300 quid a month, if, if everybody was a member and everything like that and so forth, I'd invest in it. But I, I just, I, you know, I'm not trying to sound like an ass. I just, I'm at the end of my era with this game now in respect of, of that. So good luck to you, buddy. If, if you genuinely go that far with it just for this game, um, good luck. There's no one else out there doing it with an AM5 setup apart from Johnny, so. Yeah. I just can't warrant the cost, my friend. It's just it's just not worth it. 
the game's nearly eight years old now, is it? Is it eight years this November? And there's not an inkling of Planet Coaster 2 coming. So... I mean, if you're into uh, editing and, you know, you need a computer where you can have multiple things running at once, um, you know, and you want fast saves and all that kind of shenanigans, cool. But if you're only doing it for Planet Coaster, I'd have a think. I'd have a big think. biggest improvement I had was graphics card wise the 4080 just transformed this game for me um, I mean I don't know what you're running at the minute I mean what are you running at the minute Q you know technically my PC is not high end the graphics card is but nothing else really is I just got everything running the best I can for a single core processor which this runs through so you can't change that. As far as I'm aware. And if I remember rightly, that's the difference between um, DirectX, is it 11 and 12? 12 is multi-core processing, where uh, 11 is single core processing am I, am I correct in saying that i'm pretty sure i am um so if they make the game on a single core processor again it doesn't matter what computer you've got it's, it's still going to bug out the only thing i'll say to anybody the, the cheapest cheapest way to make this game run better is actually your ram in your processor um, because if you get your RAM up to, I mean, I'm at 3200, I'd, I'd like 3600, but my motherboard won't take any more than that. Um, and then that's where you then start getting in that loophole of, oh, I've got to upgrade this and I've got to upgrade that to be able to upgrade that. And then it becomes expensive. But, you know, always look into the parameters of your, your products in your machine to make sure first. But... If I was to upgrade to 3600 uh, megahertz on my RAM, that, that would make probably about two frames a second difference, just purely because you're able to process it quicker. And that would cost me 464 gig at the minute, uh, about 95 to 100 pounds, subject to where I get it from. So I look at that and I think, okay, well maybe, but it's when I've got that kind of spare cash. But I just can't warrant spending the amount that they're asking for for the AM5 setups. I just... You're kind of speaking to the wrong person about it. <laughs> the only reason being is when I try and buy stuff like this, I try and... I don't future protect myself, obviously, because there's always new stuff coming. But like with the sim rig and why I'm so upset about it was because I bought the best of what I thought I could buy for the money I had. Yet within a month, it was playing up um, like with the graphics cards I got a 6950 XT uh, I think it was March April last year because I read the stats on it and I thought wow bang for buck that's pretty insane um, but the thing broke twice two new ones both from the same problem so I sat there and I was like, okay, what am I going to do now? I've got no graphics card. So I ended up spending twice the amount of money, literally twice the amount of money, on a graphics card. So... Um, if I were you, I'd just... I'd upgrade your graphics card and your RAM. I don't know what your RAM's running at. 32 gig of RAM can mean anything. 64 gig of RAM can mean anything. It's what it's actually processing at. Um... If you upgrade from a 1080 Ti to like a 4080 or 4090, you'll see a big uplift then. Um, you only you got 25 frames a second on Thunderland. Uh, what Thunderland Adventure Valley or Thunderland Magic Kingdom? Which one?
I mean, if I open up Thunderland Adventure Valley right now, I get uh, about 25, 30 frames a second. Um, but again, it's that's only because of my CPU. I just need to upgrade my CPU. So whether I spend 250 to 300 quid and get an AM4 setup, and I only need to replace the chip, obviously I've got everything else, and may do the RAM upgrade, so it'll cost me about 400 pounds instead of, you know, uh, what do you call it? 1500 to two and a half grand, subject to how far you want to go, just in replacing the motherboard RAM and CPU for an AM5 setup. And I just, I don't use it for work, I purely use it for gaming and fun really, and I, I, I just can't warrant that type of cost, it's just it's beyond me. If you use it for work and you get money from it and, and it's an investment for you, great. Um, but like I say, it, if, if, if I was adding money on YouTube, to, to put it into context guys, all, all these streams that I do, I only do it because I'm playing the game. I only do it to show you guys what I do. I, I, don't, I, I genuinely don't do it for the money, trust me. It's like 80 pence a video, if I'm lucky. So work that out per year. And if you look at it, it's about 300, $360 a year. And that's including current memberships. So bearing in mind the graphics card was 1200 and everything else, it, it doesn't stack up. So this is just purely a labor of love that I do for you guys. I mean, it's great. It's lovely to get 30 quid every other month from YouTube, but I, I don't look at it and think I need that 30 quid. I've got to survive on that 30 quid because ultimately I could only get five people watch a stream and earn 20 pence. And it is literally like that. Um, you know, it's, it's, from Johnny's perspective, just to put into context, his review of Thunderland Adventure Valley, because he's got so many subscribers, he's he gets more money. Um, but to put that into context, how many did it have at the minute? 570 odd times $4. So he's earned £2,200 in a year. Or dollars. He said dollars. It was $4 for every view. Every thousand views. So he's earned two, two and a quarter thousand dollars out of me for building a park that took me 18 months and I didn't earn anything from it. I'm not biased towards that. It doesn't bother me because I did it to just basically enjoy the game. Um, but that kind of puts into perspective. If you have 130,000 followers and one of your videos goes viral in 12 months, that's 10% that's of my actual wages for my work. So yes, if YouTube took off and I was earning, 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 great but unfortunately 80 pence a stream it don't really add up the other day when i hadn't done any streams for three days because my teeth um i was earning 15 pence less than 15 pence a day so it, it, you know if you guys don't watch the adverts i don't earn anything off it and it is as cut and dry as that you guys watching this like this is absolutely fine with me it doesn't bother me at all um, because I do it for the love of it, like I say, and you guys pick up tricks and you gain in inspiration from it and stuff like that. But um, there's no investment here. This is purely labor of love. Um, if I did it for the money, I would have stopped a long, long time. I wouldn't have even upgraded the computer and I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't have even bothered streaming anything really um, because it just, it, it does, it's not financially viable until you hit a certain point once you hit a certain point like channel 5 and many others it then becomes viable but my 1700 <laughs> subscribers isn't 170,000 subscribers so you know gotta work And that's not me fishing for anything, by the way, guys. Memberships or donations or patrons, whatever. That, that's totally up to you. And like I say, that's only ever to support the channel. The money goes into a pot and it helps me pay those. That, that, that literally is it. And what I mean by help, all I mean is I top up the payments by 20 quid or whatever it be. So I'm not, you know, I'm not sat here rolling in it at all. 
just to let you know, guys. All right. <laughs> That's why I, I just can't justify that type of um, type of investment, unfortunately. And there's always the saying of it's future proofing and everything like that, but I mean, how long ago did the 1390 come out? Three years ago? Hey Rob, how you doing fella? You having a good Sunday? Um, how many years ago did the 1390 come out? Must have only been what? Two and a half? Three years? And they charged you £2,000 for that. The 4090 comes out, £2,500 year and a half later the 5090 comes out I mean how much are they going to charge you for it and then next year it'll be the 6090 and the year after that it'll be the 7090 and it's just an endless wave of expenditure that I just can't be bothered with don't get me wrong I'd love it I'd love to sit there have that working play my racing games as if I'm playing it in real life I mean, I play everything on Epic Graphics anyway, as high as I can possibly get it. I, I, I play it in 4K. And the computer's hardly working. And it's just purely the way that this game is designed. It's... It is what it is. I just can't justify that amount of expenditure, unfortunately. It's quite funny, me and Darren, Mr. Stringer, were talking about this the other day, and it was like, you know, oh, we well, can do this, you can do that. And I was like, I, I just, I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to tie myself down. Um, again, because that's where I'm at at the minute. Um in doing something like that I, I, I just can't, I just can't warrant it because I guarantee you if you're still around and watching the channel in 18 months time we'll be having another conversation about the 6090 and it'll be the same kind of thing now I used to be hot on consoles I always used to have the latest PlayStation always did because I was a PlayStation fan but I got an Xbox X now and I don't even play the thing. I'm paying for a game pass that I, I don't even use. You know, and that's an Xbox X. That's top of what you can get on console at the minute. And I just sit there and I just think, is it a waste of money? Do I play it enough to warrant it? Not really. Um, but there's a certain way I purchased it. So I've got to carry on until October, I think it is. Um, so once that goes in October, there's another 40 quid available a month. And, and, you know, who knows? I might get me RAM. I might get me CPU. I, I don't know. I don't know. But the, the thing is, every single game I have, apart from this, I can run in Epic Graphics at over 100 frames a second. Literally. So from my perspective, the rest of my game in general and fun times, I, I ain't got a problem with whatsoever. Um, it's just this game. And I cannot warrant any more money into it. Unless they tell us Planet Coaster 2 is coming. And if Planet Coaster 2 comes, I'll think about it. But until then, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy. Who knows? Nine months time, I might be at a point with this park where I'm down to five frames a second. I might go, do you know what? I'll, I'll get a used AM4, I don't know... 5950X or whatever it is, or even a, uh, was it 5700X3D or whatever they, whatever it is at the minute, which is their fastest single core processing unit. Um, and, you know, I might do it. But until that time comes, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm happy as I am. Don't sound it, but I am. Because I, I genuinely, at this precise moment in time, because the sim rig is in the situation that's in at the minute, um, I, I just don't have a huge amount of want to upgrade the computer. 
I mean, like I said, I'm running an M.2 drive that transfers uh, up to 7,600 megabytes per second or whatever it is. Um, and uh, what is it? Um, you know, I can click on a video file now that's 10 gig and edit it, do it all, click it. And within two minutes, it's rendered and done. And I sit there and I think, is... 1500 quid outlay to have it done in 30 seconds any better but you know it's just just my view just my view don't hate me if you go back to my very early streams you'll um see what i mean by uh where are we what I actually had. I started off with an AMD FX6300 on an old AM3 platform. So I feel incredibly privileged to get to where I am today with what I got. So I guess that's that's the big difference. Um, life's been a bit up and down. And uh, to have what I have now, I would have never have thought of five years ago when I first started playing this game. You know, and I always did upgrade on the basis of the game. So for me, it was very much a, um, every time I built, uh, every time I started to build something and get to a certain point, it was like, oh, I need to upgrade the graphics card. I need to upgrade it. And then I think it was about four years ago, I went all out on the RAM and the 3600. Should I have waited for the 5800X? I don't know. It only runs at 0.2 more megahertz a second. So for me, I, it, and they wanted, how much did they want for it? I think it was about 450 pounds when I think it was first released. And I just sat there, I was like, well, I can get a 3600 XT for 215 quid, I think it was. And I looked at the single core processing speed and it was actually quicker. So I was like, well, I went from AM3 setup to pretty decent AM4 on a single core processor, um, and that that just it just worked for me. You know, I, I didn't really have to do much else. And touch wood, the old girl's still going, doesn't miss a heartbeat at all. Um, yeah, just need to get the sim steering wheel sorted one day Let's see what happens with that one oh right blimey five and three quarter hours of this that is it that's all we've done in five and three quarter hours i need a little break guys um but no i wish you all the best kill seriously you know it's um i'd, I'd personally wait six months just purely because prices will come down because I've noticed AM4 products brand new are dropping off now so you can't get what you used to be able to get so the lower end stuff's going which means the higher end stuff will be going soon and then all that will be available is AM5 so I'd, I'd wait six months but that's me but there we go guys so we've got lots of people going on both coasters now which is good um, where are these guys going Hotel, she's off to there. This guy's going. Nala, let's go on that end. So I'm just going to have a little pit stop. It won't be long. Nice to see you, Rob. I'll leave you with it just for a few moments, guys.
Message from Phil. In reference to Dougie. Apparently you got to shut up moaning, mate. Hi, Phil. How you doing, buddy? You good? I'm just making myself a cup of tea. I'll just be a couple of minutes, guys, all right? But I'm glad you're enjoying the park. Um, it is coming along now. The nice thing is now that we've got the coasters in, we can actually start making the way on uh, getting everything done. And then probably in about six to nine-ish months' time, we'll be completed. Um, and you guys can all enjoy. Well, I hope you can all enjoy, but I'm not holding out on this one. This one is going to be literally probably a couple of hundred thousand pieces by the time I'm done. So anyone with an AM5 setup would be able to play it perfectly fine. Um, but no, nice to see you, Rob. Uh, sorry, Bill. Sorry, mate. I was thinking of someone else at a minute. I um, hope you're having a great weekend, buddy. And Dougie, chin up, mate. Stop moaning. You'll love it. I have to go back and remove that wall in a few minutes.
Absolute pleasure, Phil. No problem at all, mate. I don't know what it's in reference to, but whatever it is, Dougie, I hope you do enjoy it, my friend. Um, what was I going to say? A uh, cup of tea is all done. So we are ready to carry on building. How cool are the views, though? So 22 frames a second. I bet when the Tower of Terror comes in, drop down to about 18. Anyway. And uh, watching the Master Collies. <laughs> um, thank you, mate. <laughs> so down to 19, 20. So we're going to have everything in view in a second, including Main Street. So we're down to 18 frames with 3,500 guests. So it does go up about, I don't know, um, about six, seven frames when uh, when I haven't got guests in the park. Again, it's all those algorithms, little threads that are going through your CPU on the single core. It's gonna look so good when it's done. I don't mean to sound like I'm gloating. It just, I, I can just see it all now. Right, okay, how does that roof look on there? I suppose it looks alright. It's not very piratey, but it's the red coat, so. What do they see up here? Might as well put a couple of red coats on there, actually. Walking back and forth. Dun. good mate looking forward to uh, the new place uh, so moving on the 10th of May I think all set deposits paid so I just got to wait for my next wage packet basically to be able to pay the first month's rent and then we're all good to go So that's all good there. Uh, where was that bit of wall that I need to move out of here? So that is... What do you mean I should need it? Do you need something? What's that? Right, well that's the baseline anyway. So that's that done. Um, stick a red coat here, I think. don't want it to select somebody, it selects someone. Typical. Hopefully, when that moves... Oh, what am I doing? So hopefully now, when that pulls away, that will salute them to say, enjoy your journey. Hmm. Just a bit is what it is. Red 
Okay, so we got guarding, firing, firing. So we stick the guard here. Good to me. Oh, what build? Okay, I've got to figure out what I'm going to use to top this. Um, Actually, I'll tell you what, let's, let's do some rock work and stuff. Really cement this in. Because that little corner piece is bugging me. Uh, that one. Perfect. Give some subliminal effects there. No worries, dude. Have a good sleep. Have a good evening at work, my friend. Thanks for joining the stream. And good luck with your endeavours, seriously. Good luck, buddy.
I wonder where Joshy's been all day. I haven't seen Joshy.
Well then guys, um, I'm just going to put it on a peep because <clears throat> I'm just going to go on the workshop and um, see if I can find any more wood pieces just to trim these corner pieces off basically. Um, I'm just going to see what I can do. I mean, the only other thing potentially we can use, but I think it's too big, is this, but it's two meters. And we could use that because it's wide enough to cover the whole thing. It would mean one less thing make a toolkit item. Plus, let's just see. Find the right texture actually. Uh, I think that's just the bigger one. So we've got those two. Right, yeah, we'll go with those now. Hey Tiara, everything is hunky dory, my friend. Thanks for joining the stream. Hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm just waiting for this auto save to sort his life out. And then we will edge this off.
Well, that looks a hundred times better. Six and a half hours, guys. Wow. Again, why does it have to be so big? my mind mate you read my mind <laughs> not that any woman has ever said that in their life before
<laughs> well, we get the pod shot together here, I reckon. That's starting to look fairly picturesque now. Just having those little iron hooks on there makes a big difference. Hey, onesie. Early afternoon for you, isn't it, my friend? I don't know, I got your message. I saw your message saying you had to shoot. No worries. Just trying to figure something out for this entrance, basically. Oh, we like it, mate. I could say mine's been pretty much the same. Apart from the odd pit stop here and there.
That'll do for the minute. <clears throat> Figure something out. But I reckon this topper works really well. Um, I'm happy with that. Don't want to copy that one. that one manually yeah so not still in the same spot oh, I see um, just kind of detailing it now really just adding that atmospheric feel to it which I think is starting to come through sounds silly but done a load of weeds underneath the water as well so when you're up here you get to see it all So it's getting there. Um, not finished, but started. A few red coats in there. One on the roof, walking back and forth, and then one saluting you as you shoot off from the station. There's cannonballs, barrels, cannons pointing out. Oh, excuse me. Been a long day streaming, guys. Guys, a six and three quarter hour. Wow. Ah, oh, cheers, onesie. You're having an awesome day, it sounds it. I've been going for seven hours straight, mate. <laughs> Think of all the hours over the years that you've all missed because I haven't streamed. It's insane when you think about it. I mean, literally, what am I at now? Uh, where are we? Profile. 4,017 hours. It only felt like yesterday I was saying I'd just passed 4,000. So, it's insane when you think about it. Good. I'm happy you are, Neil. I'll give you a quick look-see around in a second.
so yeah we've continued into the station building that's now built uh, the exit way has a number of items in there you've got the tunnel um, inside here is all planked out bar final details that's pretty much ready to go obviously what I'll do around here um, just add a few bits probably put a bit more in the ceiling just give it a little bit more detail um, I'll put some palm trees in couple in over here done a load of work under the water with the rock work and so forth Ooh, excuse me lily pads around where the water is a bit more stagnant etc um, yeah what a view but yeah it's, um, it's getting there liking this topper now that that works really really well it's gonna be a bit of a pain in some places but it should work out right um but what a transformation compared to what it was this morning so yeah it just shows when you know what you're doing it all comes together where with this it's a little bit uh, not sure where it's actually gonna go so i've got to figure all that out yet but it's um yeah i'm enjoying this so far Looks quite picturesque. Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. And I just love that you've got so many people moving around on different levels. You know, even through here up the fast pass line. Cheers, Tierra. And again, people just walking through the middle. It just, there's so much life going on. And this one here with the pier, it just looks awesome. And they go up the ramp for the fast pass. Oh yeah, I can figure all it out. I don't like that entrance, I've got to do something with the entrance. But it's getting there. Once this top is all on and we've got some, I don't know, some way of um, giving them some shade. And then s try and figure out what I can do to try and carry this stone line through here. I'm not sure. There's nothing in-game flat enough to be able to or well, thin enough, should I say, to be able to use that, so... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Actually, there is. Can't change the colour of it, though, can you? No. We got that. And that's all I've ever been on about, guys. Just create an atmosphere where there's so much movement going on. You know, looking at the reflections of the coasters going around. At least now we can see majority of the coaster that's visible, obviously. Where previously we had this big block in the middle. So it just opens it up completely. You're not going to lose any views from the train. What the hell's happened? It's come over all tired. Okay, you got this, but that was going to be there anyway, and you're going to have one on the other side. But, you know, imagine around the back here looking like the front. It's, it's, it's going to be pretty immersive when it's done. Um, I'd love to put another galleon in, but the problem is they're so big. I suppose we could put like a shipwreck. We'll do. We'll do that up here, actually. We'll put shipwreck, the wrecked front or whatever it is over here. Oh, oh, computer.
I'll tell you why I'm so tired. Because I haven't eaten today. Not got much in the house, so... One of those days. the mast. I always lose the mast. Where's the mast disappeared to? Thank you. God, that looks even more piratey. Maybe it blends a bit too much with Chinatown, I'm not sure. It just fills the area. Four, one, two, three, four pieces. Maybe a bit too much with the uh, China entrance. Thoughts, guys. Three, two, one. Well, yeah, I guess so. It works with it, doesn't it? In that respect. <laughs> Love the door. I guess once we've got some palm trees around the back here and we've got some foliage continuing on from the China area, it should blend seamlessly, hopefully. Maybe. Who knows? Amazing how they're all going on these now that there's a little bit of a we can say it's a Chinese pirate ship. Yeah, I might I might put some emblems on there or something. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. It was just a thought because it just kind of fills that area and it adds a little bit of a backdrop to this as you're walking up. So you got to think there'll, there'll be trees and stuff up the back here, so you won't technically see through to this area very well, and vice versa. So it is just whether or not it gels with the entrance at the minute. Do we need to burn the areas off somehow? There'll be peepholes so you see through, but there'll, there'll be peepholes where you actually get a decent view, you know. I don't know. Around here or something. We'll see. It'll grow. It's a grower. Bantam. <laughs> um, but that works. I reckon that works quite well. It's amazing how it's taken seven hours. Probably six and a quarter with the little breaks I've had. But the day's work. Um, so I'm just going to go and have a quick break, guys. Because I've just got to keep moving my legs and going, etc. Um, so what I'll do... See if anyone's come down Main Street. 
that? One, two, three mechanics. Where are these guys off to? Dragon two, no. Cascade one. They'll get diverted. Nala. Ghost Coaster. Cascade. Where are these guys off to? Dragon two. Roller coaster. <laughs> it's a grower. Oh, do you know what, guys? I absolutely love you guys. Thank you for joining me on this journey of yet another 18 month build. Right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. Go cup of tea, stretch. We've probably only got about another hour and 20 of available stream time anyway. Uh, and what I mean by that is I think the cutoff is about an hour and 20 hour and uh, 8 hours and 20, 8 hours 30 for the YouTube. So I think what we'll do is we'll go through to the end, maybe. Um, I wouldn't say it's perfect transition, I see, but it will it'll definitely work once we get some more foliage in there, hopefully. But guys, thanks for joining the stream. Smash that like if you haven't already. It really would, really, 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 really would make me a happy man. Um, but look at the runaway mine train there. Can you imagine that looking a bit Thunderland Adventure Valley? That would be nailed. Right, back in a couple of minutes, guys.
Oopsie. Sorry, guys. Uh, right then. Okay, where were we? Stop turtle necking it, my neck is killing me. Oh. JP, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> so you've done a whole day whilst I've been sat on my big fat backside just playing Planet Coaster. <laughs> hmm. No worries, man. It's like I was saying earlier. Um, I just play. And you guys get to see it happen. That's... All I've ever wanted to do in respect of uh, sharing it with you all, really. Having a chinwag and a moan along the way. I see. Hope your dog goes all right, mate. I hope you're all right, more importantly, because it is... Um, it's not a nice thing to experience, so... Don't say that, mate. Don't say that. I'm sure you've had a lovely day, buddy. And like I say, guys, it is an absolute pleasure to be able to share this with you all. Um, I love the game. No matter how old it is, how many quirks it has, learn to use the quirks, learn to get around them. 
learn to understand them and then you're pretty much plain sailing to be fair or should I say learn to cope with them <laughs> like the bathing we love the bathing Still can't believe we've been going for seven hours and 14 minutes. Time for my bed soon. What I will be doing though, guys, is when uh, when we get to about eight and a quarter hours, I will be closing down the stream. Um, I'm gonna make myself some food and I'm just gonna have a little bit of me time, just for a little bit. And then, subject to how I'm feeling, I may do another stream. What's that, JP? Hey, have you just given me some more money? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. It's appreciated. Genuinely appreciated. You're too kind. Too kind but it does make it worthwhile in a way even though what i was going on about earlier um you genuinely do not earn a huge amount of money unless you have 50 to 100 thousand subscribers so i appreciate that mate thank you very much Cheers, mate. Thank you. You know, I'm a realist. I try and talk facts about most things that I have qualms with in life. <laughs> but we all have them. I just find I have the balls to talk about it. Hate me, love me, I don't care. I'll talk about anything. It doesn't bother me. But this is what I love doing. And to think it all started from watching Theme Park Worldwide. Literally. Came up one day. Let's play Planet Coaster. I was like, what the hell's Planet Coaster? Five and a half years later, a few thousand pounds worth of debt. <laughs> this is Planet Coaster. <laughs> It's been a journey, and it's not stopping. It's 100% not stopping. Loads more to see and come, guys. I just find it interesting that you all love... I mean, we, we've had concurrently about 10 viewers the whole stream. Um, that you guys genuinely sit here and watch me for hours, and I mean hours, doing this. Oh, it's amazing. This is going to make this bridge look so much better. Uh, like I say, mate, it's an absolute pleasure. And thank you. Thank you very much. Puts me on five members now, I think. So I appreciate it, dude. Peeps are loving this coaster now that it's got some theming.
Well, you can say thanks to Channel 5, or you could say if I hadn't invented anything. There's two ways of looking at it, dude. I do appreciate what he has done for me. It is appreciated, and I'm glad that he become a, a person that enjoyed my box. It's just on a personal level, it's quite a, quite a difficult character. But we won't go there again. But then so am I, so is everybody. We're not all likeable people. What you see of me, I try and be me. There's very little that you guys don't see. And obviously over the last month or so, um, I've been extremely candid with you all. Which I hope you can appreciate in, in the best way possible. Just because I didn't know genuinely, like even this week, if I'd be in the mood for building, let alone streaming. Um, but here we are. Nearly eight hours into a stream. That's not coming through. Good boy. But <clears throat> once the tenth comes past in May and I'm all settled in and everything's set up and used to the housemates and the regime of things etc um, I'll be streaming a lot guys Cheers, JP. It's appreciated, mate. It really, really is. Oppo! No worries, man. Lurk all you like. It's absolutely fine. Everyone to their own. Hope you're having a good weekend, my friend. Rush. Rush all. <laughs> Absolute pleasure, my dude. Smash the like, become a sub. Enjoy the mayhem. <laughs> or the relaxed atmosphere I try and do for you guys. But no, absolute pleasure. Love to share. And show you how I do it, basically.
the bit that gives me just going back to a comment I made a minute ago it, it's just amazing how you all sit here and enjoy one what I drone on about but two um, what I do I sit there sometimes and try and watch people, um, but I struggle. And I think the reason why I struggle is because I build in a very different way, you know what I mean? So for me, it's kind of like I'm sat there going, why are you doing it like that? Surely you do it that way. And I don't know. I enjoy it. I get pick up ideas. Dan's theme park's always one. Do you know what? That's one thing I miss is uh, Pirate Adventure Golf in Florida. I do miss that. Oh, I used to nail it every time. We don't have so we do have places like that in the UK, but they're just not. It's nothing like it is in Florida. What's the point actually. Where are my golf clubs? Like I say, guys, cheers for joining the stream. It is appreciated. The only thing I ever really ask is smash that like. Be genuinely, genuinely appreciated. Um, if you want to go one step further, a bit like uh, MP, Marvy G, um, who else we got? Robert, Joshi, more than welcome to help support the channel, my friend. Uh, but like I say, it is purely to support the channel. Um, help pay for all this gear that gives you this I never envisioned when I started playing Planet Coaster <clears throat> how much it would cost <laughs> but I love the game and I enjoy genuinely enjoy spending time with you guys save again. I need to go and change the file for that. I've got five out how to do it. Doing my nutting. It can't be every 40 minutes. It can't be.
Can I just say, guys, actually, um, I th we may have hit 17.50 by now. I'm not sure. Um, but we gained a load of subscribers today. So welcome to the channel and thank you if you're watching. Um, it is appreciated. Where are we? Yeah, 1750. So we gained five subscribers today. Thank you very much, guys. And a new member. Welcome, JP. <laughs> Anton, how you doing, my friend? Hope you are well. Having a lovely Sunday. Why have I done that bit, Ben? Sunday yeah <laughs> I hope so otherwise I've been saying happy weekend for no reason at all and happy Sunday <laughs>
Yeah, well, I'm a bit mixed because uh, I'm not about to work till Thursday. I'm not rubbing it in. But um, in some ways, actually, I'm looking forward to going back. But I haven't been. I've been quite bored. You know what I mean? Not saying Planko hasn't taken up my time, but because I was in bed pretty much for three days straight this week. Um, just not feeling right after having that tooth sorted or teeth sorted. Um, it's kind of just been one of those weird weeks, knowing that you're off, but having to have had that done. It was kind of like I just couldn't relax. If you know what I mean? What am I going to do with this? Where are you off to again, Icy? Is it? I can't remember where you're going. Oh, yeah. Lots more streams, Oppo. Yeah, the weather's not been great here. It's, it's just been chilly. A um, bit overcast. What do I do with this? Oh yes, enjoy buddy. You have to send some pictures on Discord. Alright, what can I use for that corner piece? Because this is going to be too big. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. That'll do. I, I can't do much with it. It is what it is. It's only a corner piece. That's fine. All right, so we're all done there. We're all done there. We're not done here. Every time I click this, it goes cha-ching. keep thinking someone else is remembered. <laughs> There's toilets everywhere. There's toilets absolutely everywhere. That'll do, Donkey. Or that'll do. Classics. 
Can't believe I'm saying classics to Shrek. How old does that make me feel? No worries, Icy. Catch you in a bit, dude. See how that feels later on. Right, so that's that all done, that's that all done, that's that all done. And that is this nearly done. this bit <clears throat> I haven't got a clue what to do with this bit to be perfectly honest
Such a shame we can't change the colours. Kind of hidden a bit. Fathom out what? I think that was the best one. Where you move? No, 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 no. How's that? It's a bit bad, isn't it? It's tidy. Blaster, I think, to cover that up. So downside is like, look, it's not. I can't carry that down. Mm. 
This is why I wish they'd never done grid pieces because you have the piece here, but it's grid. You can't, you can't, you can't do anything with it apart from flat. Unless, can I use a door? That's the edge of this. Just to make it look. It's just one of my OCDs, not not being able to finish something because you haven't got the right piece or something in the game. That's wrong. Well, this one, to be fair, I can do right. I'll do it correctly. To be fair, if I grab that and turn that like that, I may get away with it. Who would have thought? Use two doors. Who would have thought? I know these are barely seen, but for me, it's done. Right. Uh, why is that? That's fine. Okay, so. See, what I'm going to try and do is use the concrete, I think, because the concrete goes a bit darker. Rightly. Yeah. don't think I can get away with a four meter piece. Let's just double check. Ah, empty. What's going on? You can tell I'm tired. So we've got about another 20 minutes, half hour, guys. Uh, and then I'll have to stop the stream. Purely because of YouTube. I don't think you can go over, I think it's about eight and a half hours, I think. Bang tidy. Just click on that. 
sort out there. There we go, that looks a lot better. Now they're done. I know it sounds silly, but it's just those little bits that I hate missing because it makes all the difference, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're sat on the train and you look around and you think, hold on a minute, why didn't he finish that bit off? It's done now. Ah, right, okay. What do we do as an awning, guys? I'm thinking the sails again. But maybe do triangular ones this time. See how big they are. That's too small. Phantom. <laughs> Perfect. Look at that. Let's just try it and see. I see people do it in their parks and it looks awesome, but I just, I struggle, I don't know why, I just struggle to, to do it myself. I, I, I can't explain why. I'm just going to say that every time I say something stupid like that now. And um. <laughs> Kids channel. Kids channel and all. Alright, let's just see what we got. Ah, we could do some lighting, I guess, maybe. Pretty dark at the minute. I do like the way these coasters light up, though. The way they go round. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the um, Planet Coaster soundtrack today, guys, by the way. You've barely seen me. How good does that look? Yes. Look at that. First time that queue's been half full. Insane. Right, lighting-wise, let's try something a little bit different. Let's get some pirates going. Arr, me hearties. Everyone says I'm a pirate. I don't know why. Definitely got the teeth of a pirate at the minute. Too bright. I 
Who is it? It's about a... Sort of seems a bit too yellow, you know. Well, we can add stuff in there. Well, what a transformation from this morning, guys. Um, I'm just a bit hesitant. We've, we've passed eight hours now, so I don't know if the stream's just going to go <laughs> cancel. So, um, most streamers I've seen do like 24 hour events. Um, racing and stuff I think it's about eight and a half hours they go to um, but I, I haven't got that far before so I think we'll leave the stream there guys um, I just want to thank you very much for joining today it has been an absolute honor bringing this for you um, and it's so nice now that we're able to start going forwards with the park instead of procrastinating on the same stuff over and over and over and over again so it's good. There's going to be a lot of that, obviously, um, because we've got to do theming, etc. Um, but I'm surprised I managed to do probably about seven and a half hours worth of uh, work today. But it just shows where, you know, the bit, the bit that gets me is this bit. It's as you come through here because you kind of, you've got this nice berm of this archway, so it kind of blocks most of it off. But then as you come through... Yeah, imagine with that with lava and bits and bobs coming down, loads more palm trees, a lot more kind of pirate feel, but it just... Having the coaster come out under that bridge, having the trim done on the bridge now, um, and just just having this rock work done and, and the, you know, the foliage just brings all this together, so... I hope you guys, I mean, you guys saw it live, so, you know, there's no point in me saying I hope you saw it. Uh, but what I mean by that is, you know, if it helps, great. If not, and you just enjoy watching it and seeing it all come together, it's an absolute privilege, honestly. Um, as per the parks I've done in the past. Whether or not I'll do an awning on that, I'm not too sure. I need to do something, I think, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. The problem is, in-game stuff is so big. Phantom. Uh, <laughs> but what I might do, I mean, it's... 10 past 8. I haven't got to go back to work till Thursday. So I may have half hour, three quarter hour break. And I might be back later. Who knows? Part 2 of stream 36. 36 streams to get to this point. But guys, um, I, I just don't want the stream to cop out. So I'm just going to say my goodbyes now and, and thank you very much for joining. JP, seriously, thank you very much for the membership, mate. It really, 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 really does go a long way. Um, I know it's not a huge amount, but it really does help. It really, really does. 
Um, because as I was saying earlier, in respect to what you actually earn on YouTube without memberships, it's it's pennies, pennies per day. And I know I'm, I haven't got 10, 20, 30, 100,000 subscribers, but what I mean by that, the ad revenue is extremely low. So if anybody is ever, ever thinking of doing this, it's the second job that you don't really get paid for, in a way. But I don't look at it like that. I look at it because basically I'm sharing what I would be doing anyway. So... I was saying to Darren, Mr. Stringer, last night about what you potentially earn off it. And I said, it'd be lovely to have 10, 20, 30,000 subscribers. <laughs> um, but the way I look at it is I spent, I've spent my life, I mean, I've been gaming probably since I was about six years old. So, you know, just to take a hobby and share it with people is more important to me than anything the gratuity and so forth really does help towards the computer i mean if you actually saw my computer the case you, you wouldn't you wouldn't believe what's in there considering you have a look at the case um but the case is about 10 15 years old and it's just this massive black thing that's yeah it's got kind of like that rubbery plastic finish to it that's now gone all sticky <laughs> that's how old it is uh bless it <clears throat> so one day i'll get a nice case and everything like that but i haven't focused on that i've focused on giving you guys the best performance i can from a hobby that i absolutely adore um you know there are times when you have creative block and you genuinely how could i put it there's been times yesterday i was struggling with it i really really was struggling um but that's kind of why i went to the barrier in the spooky area purely because sounds stupid but the repetitiveness kind of gets me back into the game and that's why i started with the barrier system today over in the pirate area because i thought to myself thought well if i get that done it then leads on to other things and you see what we've done today um that area now is totally transformed and yes that has taken seven and a half eight hours to do but seven to eight hours worth of less work i've got to do um but it gives you guys a, a definitive idea of how it's done, how when you see these projects come together and they are reviewed, how they actually are put together. Um, you know, um, and it, you know there are days when I sit there and Thunderland reviews pop up on my YouTube. And I click here and I have a little look. And do you know the most surreal thing? The most surreal thing about the whole situation when it comes to reviews doesn't feel like you made it and i don't know if that's just because the way my mind has been the last five six years um but it really really doesn't i sit there and i watch the Thunderland review and all the times that we sat there and spoke about the um what you call it the runaway mine train you know we need to start the supports i need to start the supports and i just i, di I didn't do anything for like eight nine months i did a little bit and a little bit here and a little bit there but never really did it and then i remember it was over two streams that we did the whole lot and it and look how it turned out you know um and i'm just glad you know we've got a lovely community that follows me you are genuinely all appreciated uh as the reason why i have been so candid the last few weeks because i don't want to let you guys down in that respect um but now we've got all coasters in we we are hitting the ground running now guys so yeah um i'm gonna go now thank you very much for joining it's amazing we always get to the end of the stream and have about 18 19 followers which it did jump up to just a minute ago so thank you very much for watching guys um if you haven't already please do smash that like button and as i always say guys if you want to support the channel you're more than welcome to on a financial basis a number of ways to do it uh, if you click the link in my bio it will have everything in there for you um or you can become a member here um but yeah guys thank you and um i may see you in a little while i'll pop a post online if i'm going to go back online um and then we'll see what we what we do from there cheers guys happy coasting all see you all soon bye bye